Hello. Um, 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 here, I've got a little bowl. Um, 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 okay, bye. Hello. I'm not quite sure why you're in black and white. Hang on one second. There we go. Cool. I've loved YouTube for a very, very long time. It's always been one of the most important things in my life. Even when I wasn't even making YouTube videos, like just watching YouTube videos always calmed me down. It always taught me lessons that school could never ever teach me. And when I first started like making videos myself, I realised that I'm on this platform that can lead to such important and such big things. I mean, look at Justin Bieber, look at Bo Burnham, for example. Those are just a few examples of how massive YouTube can make you, if that makes sense. Sometimes YouTubers get really big headed, but you know, I mean, this website is so wonderful because you can make friends, you can you can tell stories, you can you can make someone's day just by turning a camera on and talking to it and that's wonderful. I've had people tell me that my videos have saved their lives which scares me, you know, it really does. It makes me really proud of course. Earlier on I asked Twitter what YouTube means to them and this is what they said. YouTube has impacted my life quite a lot. I've made quite a few friends who are absolutely terrified of starting YouTube because it it's a massive ocean essentially and when you first start you're like a, you're like plankton, you're like a tiny little fish, like you're minuscule and that's inevitable, that's always going to happen whenever you start, you always start from the bottom. Over the months and the years you slowly build up to become a dolphin or a whale. Ah oh, there's someone over there, this is really awkward, shit. I always get really self-conscious when there's people around me when I'm filming a video because also the camera is like attached to my knee right now which, which means I can do that. Oh shit, I'm so weird. <laughs> That's the thing though, like, is, like YouTube has built up my confidence so much that even though there's a man over there walking his dogs, I'm still talking to the camera as if it's normal. Although I know it's very unnormal, abnormal. Good words there, Sam. Just don't be afraid of starting a channel because it can make you into something that you want to be. Like you can you can start fresh. Something that I love is making a new social media page, like a Facebook page or a YouTube page or a Twitter page, because you know you can document it growing and that, and that sort of thing. And with YouTube, you can document your videos growing and you can see for yourself how important your videos can be to people. And I love that. I love learning stories. I love learning about people. I'm a very nosy person, which is which, I'm a very I'm a very nosy person, which is why I absolutely love vlog videos because I just love seeing how people have their days. I'm very open on YouTube. I talk a lot about my personal story. I've had thoughts that I should stop, you know, that I should just, you know, water it down a little bit. And I mean, yeah, there are things I don't tell YouTube because it doesn't need to be said because of bad habits that I might have. I tend not to bring up bad memories because it just makes me feel sad and it just brings everyone down when I talk about serious things. But there's certain things like depression and anxiety that need to be talked about because everyone needs to talk about it and you know that I mean I, I mean that includes me not just my audience. I just wish that bigger YouTubers would speak about big things like depression and that sort of thing but then again they have quite young audiences so I suppose I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Moving on. I'm never gonna stop YouTube you know I don't think I am anyway because Honestly, it's made me realise how lucky I am to be on this planet and, it, and it's made me realise how how wonderful this world is. I've made so many friends on this. I've reached out to big YouTubers who I never thought would, would, would even recognise or acknowledge my, exist, acknowledge my existence and they have, you know. YouTubers like, like, YouTubers like Dan and Phil, Emma Blackery, um, Onision even, like Carrie Hope Fletcher, Luke is not sexy. Uh, who else? Patty Walters, Savannah Brown, Dodie Clark, Ev Evan Edinger, and it's like so many people have 
so so many of my mass so many of my idols have seen my work and that it makes me feel so happy you know when i make my video letters i don't want it to be like just for the views i don't want it to be like a pandering i don't want it to be you know notice me senpai you know i want it i want those youtubers to feel happy and feel feel this pride they know that someone has been inspired by their videos that's all i've ever wanted i've always wanted just to make people realize that they're they're deserved no matter how important they are like in terms of youtube i don't i don't youtube for the views i don't youtube for like my own satisfaction i i youtube because it it is my thing my videos help people and that makes me so happy and it makes me really emotional knowing that just people like me really i was bullied at school i was always like the quiet kid i was always you know the nerdy weedy kid and now that i've got an audience of almost 10,000 now oh man i i can't even explain how happy that makes me numbers don't mean a lot to me but obviously 10,000 is such a lot of people you know yes my yes my videos don't get 10,000 views like only like three of them have made it that far but still again i don't youtube for the views i youtube for people age of people essentially you know I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just trying to be honest with myself and you guys have got and you guys of course as well. YouTube is a happy place, you know, and that's why I don't like talk about YouTube drama because YouTube drama has always just been grown men bitching about people. Oh, YouTube is yours, right? It is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. You can sing a song, you can do a dance, you can tell a story, you can cry, you can whatever, you know, as long as it's, you know, legal. I've made videos that I'm not proud of, like the um, Zalfi videos where I basically just diss them and, you know, I've made videos that piss people off. And again, I'm sorry for those ones, but obviously it's just me speaking my opinion. But I've learned that if your opinion is gonna hurt people and is gonna make people feel negative, is it really worth talking about it. I love being creative, I love making music videos, I love writing poetry, I love making my own thing. And that's what and that's what people should do. They should make their own thing. They shouldn't steal people's videos just to get profit from it like bloody Soflo Antonio. Anyway, I've spoken for far too long. I'm gonna go and watch the Wales Portugal game. I'm not gonna say it's changed my life, but it's changed my life. It's given me a purpose and I'm so glad that you guys are here to document that with me. So I'm going to go before I make you all cry. So thank you and good night or whatever the term is and stuff. And oh, okay. <laughs>